see him arrive, he stood six foot six, weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder and there at the hip. And everybody knows you didn't give no lip to Big John. <laughs> Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. That's right. Big John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. Kind of quiet and shy. And he didn't spoke at all. He just said hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans where he got in a fight or a Cajun queen from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. Big John. Big John. Uh, big bad John. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Uh, just a real quick shout out. We're going to do it real fast. To Angie and Chris from Apex, North Carolina. They sent us this delicious beer. Everybody go check it out. I'm having one right now. So thank you guys so much. Mmm. So how's everybody doing out there? Good. Good morning from New York. New York. Louisiana. Yes. Coming from Louisiana. Love Peggy it. Grimes. Love it. How are you guys? It's another beautiful Friday. Friday. Cooking stuff up on Friday. <laughs> Friday. Yes. I know all y'all's alerts are starting to ping. Ding, 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 ding. Letting y'all know to tune on in. I'm going to give everybody a second. We've got a great show though today. Super excited. Super excited. I know y'all were expecting to see Jody, but once again, they have Jody. He's in Memphis in May, doing thing, working with the shed, making it happen, making our presence known. So Jody, much love and respect. How are we doing, Matt? Looking good. We're looking good? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna get it started. Oh, sweet, all right. So, how's everybody doing? I am your Rec Tech Academy instructor, Chef John. Um, we're here on Funday Friday. We're gonna do, we have a great show planned for you today. Uh, I'm gonna do some chili. It's a venison and boudin chili. Uh, for those of you who aren't <clears throat> quite familiar with boudin, it is a Cajun sausage that is cased with like all kinds of good spices, rice, it's delicious. Uh, it's gonna make a great, for a great chili. We're also gonna make a Bloody Mary today with the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix. So super, super excited. Um, for all of you who are just tuning in, make sure you guys check out these beers that came from Apex, North Carolina, Chris and Angie. Thank you so much. We're enjoying the heck out of them. Mm. So delicious. All right, let's just get jump right into it. I have got my Matador pan set on my bullseye, right? And I've probably had it on here about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I have the temperature dial set two notches above half. It's gonna give me the proper searing uh, temperature that I need. So I've got all my mise en place on this car. We're gonna wheel it on over. Mm. So when we were making this chili, a friend of mine was like, I love venison chili, John. I love it. She was like, it's, it's the best. I can't get enough of it. And I was like, okay, so how do you do your venison chili? She told me how she does her venison chili. I was like, that sounds really good. But one of the problems I think she was having was she wasn't adding enough fat to her chili. I thought I was like, it would be much better if you put bacon in it. She didn't necessarily believe me. So I invited her to come on the show today and I was gonna make this chili for her. All right, so I've got uh, this two pounds of bacon that I've rough chopped, just like sliced up with my knife. And really all this is gonna do is add fat and flavor to my chili. Go ahead and throw it in. Like I said, I have this pan preheated for about 10 to 15 minutes. Two notches above half. Just give it that nice sear on that bacon. That's what you want. You want to hear that sizzle. So, chili is a personal thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put whatever you really want in chili. As long as your base is good, you go ham with chili. So, for this, these purposes, this is what I'm going to do. Bacon, I've got boudin which I just pulled it out of the casing. Boudin, it's just like any other sausage. 
has that pork casing around the, uh, the outside of it. You just do a nice little slice around it and it comes right out. So you can see how the bacon's already starting to render down. You can see the fat starting to pool in the middle. That's exactly what you want. I wish you guys could smell this because it is delicious. Who doesn't like bacon? What are some of y'all's favorite ingredients to put in y'all's chili? Like how do you guys make y'all's chili? Yeah, there's a ground beef, there's a turkey. What do you guys do? Short ribs. I heard Ray, when I was talking to him about uh, chili the other day, and Mr. Carnes told me he put brisket in his chili. I was like, you go boy, that's ambitious. All right, once you get a, a substantial amount, I would say 50% of the bacon rendered down, you can go ahead and throw your boot in it. As it heats up, it's going to break apart. I've just pulled this boudin out of the refrigerator. <clears throat> if you have time to let your ingredients warm up right before you cook them, it'll make this process go a little bit faster. Excellent. That was, oh, that was probably about five pounds of boudin that I have in here. Matt, is anybody saying what some of their favorite ingredients are to put in there? Zing Zang, hot pepper, veal, hamburger, assorted spices. Okay. Greg Mueller says, Chef John doing work. Always, Chef Greg. Miss you, buddy. Looks Can't like a lot of people something. love brisket, brisket in their okay. chili. I, uh, I've i never done the brisket. When uh, Mr. Carnes told me that he loved brisket in his chili, I was like, okay. That's something I'm definitely going to have to try. Definitely. But I can see where it would be delicious. It's a super rich meat. has a lot of fat on it. So... When that fat renders down, it's going to be nothing but deliciousness in the bacon. All right. That Onions, boudin. jalapenos. Yes. That bacon is rendering down nice. That boudin is starting to come apart. I'm actually going to go ahead and close this lid and let this come oh, up to temperature. On. I got to lid. Oh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and put a lid on that and let it come up to temperature before I add my venison to it. I've got about, what was it, about five pounds of venison that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put in there. I'm going to let that come up to temperature there real quick. So I'm going to, I love garlic. I'm going to add garlic. One, uh, Rachel, everybody knows Rachel, our pro, uh, wanted me to demonstrate a garlic press. So that's what this is right here. It's a garlic press. See how it's got holes in it right there, flat side on it right there. I don't necessarily use a garlic press all that much. Where I do garlic, I'll show y'all how I do it. But first, you just want to get the garlic out. Right? So nice. Then you get a nice little piece like this. Oh, that's so nice. See how that does? And you go ahead and put it in there. We're going to get two pieces because this is kind of full. Garlic is so wonderful. Are you going to give anything away today? You know what? I didn't give anything away last time, and I was told that I, I was supposed to, and I guess I was just so excited to be on here by myself, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I forgot to give something away. So I'm going to give something big away today, <gasps> something big and special. So, all right. So this is it. So you put the garlic in there. You go ahead and put it in there like that. Awesome. And then we're just going to crush it right over top of the chili. See how it comes out of there? That's so nice, right? So nice. But it kind of leaves you with this little bit of like, you know, remnants of garlic. So how the pros do it, I'll show you how the pros do it. So that's like if you're at home and you're doing like, uh, you know, two pieces of garlic at a time. When you're not doing two pieces of garlic at a time, and you're doing like a whole head of garlic. This is how we do it. We go, we hit it. And that separates everything. Take all the stuff out. Right? That was fast. Because who's got time to like sit with one? Then you take the, the, your knife, the flat side of your knife. This is the sharp end right here. This is the non-sharp end. Put your hand over the top and you just press down. It, once you crush it, the skin comes right off. And really, that's where all the flavor is coming from is the oils that are coming out of it. 
so when you're making chili and stuff like this, the garlic's gonna cook out. Like it'll cook down to pretty much nothing. So you just wanna make sure there's no skin on it and then you can just throw it in whole just like this. Give it a good mix around. Oh man, it's already smelling so good, you guys. So good. All right. All right. You guys want to give something away? Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking hey, about. Hey, who yes, wants sir. stuff? That's what are we giving right. away? Uh, we're going to give away these awesome glasses. Check them out. Is it one of them right here? There's one right here. These are nice Rec Tech Academy glasses. Special edition? Special edition. You can't get these anywhere. Cannot be purchased? Cannot be purchased. They're beautiful. Beautiful glasses, right? Come yes. On. If you guys know somebody, right now, real quick, let's stop. Because I don't want to leave anybody out because I'm always there. I was like, John. All my friends are like, John, why don't you tell me that y'all were giving away a grill or giving something away? I'm like, dude, I'm working. I don't have time to stop and tell you guys. I'm giving something away. So now we're going to do that. We're going to stop. Everyone stop right now. Let's share this video if there's somebody that you know or would like. Let's stop and share the video right now. Share, share, share. Share, 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 share. Anyone who likes chili or venison. You know anybody who's like, yeah, I killed a deer four years ago and ground it up, put it in my eyes chest. I don't know what to do with it. This is what you do with it. Share so this person knows. Take that venison out of your freezer and make some chili with it. All right. Okay, so when we come back, guys, I'm going to throw the venison on. We're going to do a giveaway. Uh, and then we're going to start making some Bloody Marys and stuff. So stay tuned. I'll be back in like 5, 10, 15 minutes. And we'll see you then. Friday, Friday. Cooking stuff up on Friday. Friday, Friday. What's up everybody and we're back and we're back and we're back so today a little quick recap i am your host chef john um jody is out of town he's in memphis in may uh he's check out the he's, kill, he's killing it right now they are preparing um what was it the, hog. the whole hog and we're putting that on the story on our instagram and on uh, facebook so make sure y'all go check out those stories see jody preparing that hog that's gonna be awesome um, so today we're cooking chili. We're doing a venison chili, a venison and boudin chili. I've already got the boudin in. I've got the, ch um, what else did I put in that thing? I've got the um, bacon in there. I put garlic in there. Uh, we've got that cooking in the matador pan on the bullseye because we're breaking rules. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead real fast, come back to this, and we're gonna put the uh, venison in. Oh, look how nice that looks. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be awesome. That is gonna be awesome. All that fat's really starting to render out. So welcome to the family, Bob Hill. It's first fun day Friday as a rec tech owner. All right, Bob. What's up, buddy? I hope you're enjoying your new rec tech. We're gonna go ahead and throw this venison in here. What's up, Dino Dan? Dino Dan. Nick Dalton, what's up, man? I love it. So, guys, we're doing chili, Rec Tech style. Boudin. I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with Boudin. We've got that in there. So, this was uh, five pounds of venison. There's a lot of people to feed here. So as that comes up to temp, it's gonna break apart. Venison's a super lean meat. So that's why we added all this sausage and bacon. I was gonna put a pork butt in there, like <laughs> chop it up and throw it in there too to add some more flavor to it. But I just, I mean, I ran out of time. I didn't think I had time to make a stew right. So maybe next time we make chili, I'll throw a little pork butt in there. No, no. I'm crazy like that. All right, so we're gonna let this do its thing. We're gonna make some bloodies. All right, it's Bloody Mary time. Now, I kind of consider myself a 
connoisseur, <laughs> if you will, when it comes to Bloody Marys. Um, I have been trained by one of the best Bloody Mary makers ever out there. So, a little nod to the Bloody Maker maker who showed me how to make Bloody Marys. Also, real quick, let's stop, because I know everybody loves Bloodies, and everybody knows somebody that loves Bloodies. Let's go ahead and share this. If you know somebody out there who loves Bloody Marys and adorable black men making them, share this video right now. Here we go. I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it. Okay. So, Bloody Marys. Woo! They're a very, like, personal thing I've come to find out that Bloody Marys are. Like, everybody likes their bloody a certain way. So, if you have any tips for me or anything that you like to put in a Bloody Mary, please share it with us. Matt's right there. He's watching all of it. He'll let me know. So, a good Bloody, you need ice to start with. A lot. I like to start with a full cup of ice, right? And then... There is no substitute for Tito's when it comes to Bloody Marys. Come on, everybody. Everyone knows Tito's. Everybody loves Tito's, right? Okay. So here we go. I like to go like a third of the glass full of vodka, Tito's specifically. Then we are going to hit it with a little bit of Dirty Girls Aged Olive Juice. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Get it. Horse radish. One, two. That's good. All right. Then we're going to go. Now, okay. Before I put uh, sriracha in there, I love sriracha. The Dirty Girl uh, mix, Dirty Girl mix, Bloody Mary mix spicy. is super spicy. I am just a fiend for spice, so I, I, like, I like it a little extra spicy. But you need to definitely try the mix before you put it in there. So I put a good little squirt of sriracha in there you know get the blood flowing why not it's 12 o'clock you know so give this girl a good shake a little pat on the butt <laughs> dilled green beans on the side tabasco oh, yeah. all day over oh, sriracha yeah. they say all right we're gonna go almost to the top leave a little room so you could shake it i'm gonna squeeze a nice lemon lemon juice is key Oh uh, yeah, this looks great. All right. One toss, two toss, three toss, four. There we go, set that right here. Now, one of the interesting and important parts, rimming the glass. Rimming the glass. That's okay. a cool looking glass. It is, yay. It's a rec tech glass. We're actually gonna be giving this away, a set of four of these away in a little bit. So. Make sure you stay tuned and share it to people who may want a Rec Tech Academy glass. Exclusive glass glasses to Rec Tech. Can't get them anywhere else. Celery salt. Love the celery salt. Got to have that too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dip this in a little bit of the aged olive juice. Run the rim around. And then on the plate, I put the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. And that's where we're going to rim this glass in. So I just put a shake on just any normal plate. We're just gonna run it all the way around. Oh yeah. And there is celery salt in there. Yes, there is celery salt already in the mix. Already in the mix. And for everyone who was wondering, also a little bit of horseradish. You can't see that, it's not focusing. <laughs> so this plate of Mary's pretty much done. Put it in our finished glass. We have some accoutrements that you're gonna go with it. What's on that? So we have a pearl onion, we have some olive, a red peppers, pickled okra, regular pickles. It's gonna go delicious with this. Doesn't that look awesome? I'll let y'all take a picture of it before I go ahead and start chugging on this thing. Yeah? Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, let's get it all set up in there. Girl. So, quick recap. It was a third, cup, a third of the cup, whatever cup you're using, third cup of Tito's vodka, two uh, count pour on the olive juice, the Dirty Girl's aged olive juice. It was the rest of the way with the Dirty Girl uh, Bloody Mary mix, and then we salted the rim with the Dirty Girl rub. Yes, so good, all right. And that Dirty Girl rub is available at? At? RecTechGrills.com. RecTechGrills.com. So come. Please go online, grab it, you get it anytime you want it.
All right, let's go ahead and try this thing a little bit. Okay, we're gonna try the chili. All right, so coming back to the chili. Oh yeah, that's looking great. I would say we're about 60% way done with the meat. The venison is gonna cook super quick because it's such a lean meat. So good. All right, we're at a point now where we can go ahead and start adding the rest of these ingredients, all right? So what I have here is about three cups of poblano and jalapeno pepper. We're gonna to toss that in there. Yes, sir. And then I have about, about about six cups of red onion. Oh yeah, that's delicious. We're gonna go ahead and toss this real quick. Now, uh, the temperature is still set at the uh, two notches above halfway, and it's doing perfect. You can see it. It's not overcooking, nothing sticking. We have no burning going on. It's doing a nice, even cook. All right. We're going to go ahead and let this simmer for a second. I'm going to come over and try this Bloody Mary. It looks delicious. Sweet black baby Jesus. Listen. Rachel, you're yeah. holding up the show. This is a live show. This is live. <laughs> this is live. Thank you so much. You're such a princess. All right, guys. Mm, it looks good. Y'all should come and join me. Let's just drink some bloodies today. Like, forget everything else you're doing. Come on down to Rec Tech. I'll make them. Let's drink these. These are delicious. Duh. Delicious. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Uh huh. I did it. I'm gonna save some for everybody else, but that's really good. Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix. This is the truth, y'all. You heard it here first, Chef John. Go ahead, order that stuff. It's the bomb. Man, that was good. Did you try some? Is that why you were trying to hog it all, Rachel? No. Is that what it was? Okay, okay. All right. So moving on. The vegetables have had a minute to sweat, which is really all I wanted them to do. And now we're going to go ahead and start adding all our beans in. You guys, I may have been a little overzealous now that I see how many beans that I have and how much meat I have in here. I believe the matador can do it. We're going to see what happens. All right, so I have, I just went to the grocery store, got some kidney beans. Throw those in there. And you can really use whatever beans you like. Uh, so I'm going to use kidneys, pintos, and black. Because, you know, who doesn't like black beans? Scott Leninger says, put the Bloody Mary mix in the chili. Of course, Scott. Why wouldn't you? Scott likes mixing it up. I like it, Scott. Little man living on the edge right there. Yeah, so I got a few cans of everything. Black beans. Jody yes, Flanagan is watching. Yeah, Jody! Memphis and May, what's up, buddy? Jody, we're, I'm killing it, buddy. I'm holding it down for you. No worries. I got you, buddy. And remember, guys, you can check out Facebook and Instagram story. Please do that. Watch Jody cooking that hog with the shed, the shed king. All right, so we got the beans in there. We're going to give them a little mix. It's already looking so colorful, right? Doesn't that look colorful? Come on, guys. We haven't really put any tomato product in yet either. So now we're gonna go ahead and drop our tomato product in. I like to use uh, crushed tomatoes, whole crushed tomatoes, because they start to cook down as they uh, as they heat up. Yeah, don't let that in there. Sweet. So we're going to give this a stir. So good. 
starting to look like chili in here. Scott, we're gonna go ahead and do your thing, man. Put the dirty girl straight into the chili. Yes, sir. It's a dirty girl chili now. Ew. Dirty girl. Yes. All right, now we're gonna go add our spices. Now I made a little mix of spices over here. I got a little mix of spices, so this is what we got. I'm gonna tell you guys what's in here. We have the Dirty Girls uh, rub in here, which makes up the substantial part of the rub. Then I also put a little bit of uh, chili powder, there's cumin, and there's cayenne in there, ground cayenne. So just a pinch of cayenne, because that Dirty Girl really has a lot of heat to it so you don't want to go overboard if you're not if you're heat sensitive leave the cayenne out how about that all right so we're gonna go ahead and just toss this in the dirty girl also has a lot of good other seasonings in it, like celery horseradish all these things are going to be delicious in the chili all right we're gonna go ahead and give this a little stir Right? I don't know what you guys are eating for lunch, but I hope it's as good as this. If you're eating a sandwich or something though, oh God, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. All right, this is looking fabulous. What do you guys think out there? Hey, what are you, what are you guys eating for lunch out there? Tell me, I wanna know what you guys are having for lunch out there. I'm interested to know. Y'all see what I'm making. Let me know what y'all are having. Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, Jack in the Box. Huh? Maybe you're having a big juicy steak. That would be nice. That would be nice. But y'all are probably eating Wendy's, aren't y'all? <laughs> huh? Subway. Come on. Not this. Not this. Okay. So just a real quick recap on the chili. We have venison in there. We have boudin, which is Cajun sausage. We have bacon, and that's what we started with. We got all that stuff rendering down. Then we went ahead and added our vegetables to it. We had uh, jalapeno peppers and poblano peppers and red onions. We let those sweat for a minute. And then we came back and added our beans, black beans, pinto beans, and kidney beans. Some of my favorites. And we added that stuff in. And then we uh, put the Dirty Girl uh, Bloody Mary mix in there just to spice it up because someone suggested that that's what they do. Um, finished it off with some crushed tomatoes and our seasoning. And we're gonna let that simmer when we come back I promise you when we come back, we're going to do a giveaway, and we'll give some away. I didn't give anything away last time. We'll give some away this time. I want you to go share all this stuff right now. When we come back, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to finish the chili. I'm going to plate everything up. I'll see you guys in a few. Friday, Friday, cooking stuff up on Friday, 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 cooking stuff up on Friday, Friday, Friday. And we're back. We're back. We're back. Oh uh, yeah, we're back and we're back. So, I'm gonna give everybody a second to catch up. Let all those people, bing, 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 bing. Yes, we're back. Come on and join us. So we had a great show today. I really do miss Jody, I'm not gonna lie. This place is just not the same without that guy. I love that guy. God, I think it's the beer. I love that beer. So, well, we're back. Jody's in Memphis in May. Um, we're here doing a little venison and Bloody Mary show on a fun day Friday. Uh, so what we did was we did some venison and boudin chili. It was, it's delicious, by the way, it came out awesome. Uh, we're just gonna recap what was in there. We started off with the matador pan inside the bullseye and we had set the bullseye on two notches above half. Uh, and got the pan warm, let it uh, come up to temperature about 10, 15 minutes. Then we threw all of our proteins in there. Uh, we started We started with the pork. Uh, we had uh, some bacon. We rendered the bacon down. And then we added our uh, boudin to that, rendered that down. Then added our venison, because it's the leanest meat. Got that cooking. Threw our vegetables in, which were uh, poblano peppers and jalapenos and red onions. We let those sweat, get kind of soft. Then we added all of our beans, and it was pintos, kidneys, and black beans. We've let all that simmer 
we have added a little bit of chicken stock while well, y'all didn't see me do that, but I put a little bit of chicken stock in here. I'd say about five cups of chicken stock and we let that simmer. And I'm telling you guys right now, I tried some already, so it's not like, oh, I'm gonna try some, but I'm gonna try some more for y'all. It's delicious. And the Boudin gave it this crazy, awesome consistency. It's more like a hash than it is like a traditional chili. Like Skyline chili almost. Yes, exactly like Skyline chili. So let's go to take. Oh, oh God. I really wish y'all could be here. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all's bologna sandwich don't taste this good. I'm telling y'all that right now. God, that was good. So delicious. Quick and easy chili. Probably took us a total of like an hour and a half to make from start to finish. And I know y'all won't be doing this much at home, so it'll probably take y'all even shorter time to do it. So while we we're the seasoning that I put in that, which is one of the most important parts, was a blend of cumin, uh, dirty girl rub, and crushed red pepper, um, and chili powder. So we mixed all those together, it gave a really distinct flavor. Uh, we also put, put some of the Bloody Mary mix, Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix inside the chili, which gives it a real distinct flavor. While we're talking about spices real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to our boys at Tacticalory, Casey Bard in New York. Casey, thank you so much for bringing these spices down all the way from New York. We love your spices. We appreciate you following and all your support. Thank you so much. We're definitely gonna get into these. We're so happy about it. Okay. So I've been talking about a giveaway all day, all right? And I'm sorry, you know, I really have just been trying to stretch this thing out, this giveaway, because it's so awesome, all right? I'm so excited about it. So real quick, before we give it away, if you know anybody, anybody who would love chili, doesn't know what to do with old venison in the freezer, please like, share, share this video right now. Where's my phone? We're gonna go ahead and share. I'm gonna share it. So all my friends on Facebook and Instagram can see it, okay. Share buttons, hitting them share, 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 share. <clears throat> this is what the, this is what we are giving away, okay? It is the, an exclusive Rec Tech Academy pint glass. You get four of them in this nice box. We'll ship that out to you, okay? We're gonna go ahead and ask the question now. So this is the question for the giveaway. <coughs> Excuse me. In 2015, 2015, who was the grand champion at the Memphis in May? The grand champion for Memphis in May in 2015. All right. So, come on, people. Nobody's got it yet? There it is. Here it is. Ooh. Guns up barbecue. Guns up barbecue. Who was it? Tell the, me the winner. The winner is is Brad Orison. The shed was the winner. 2015 Grand Champions. We love the shed. We love Brad Orison. Quick shout out to these guys in Memphis and May. That's going on right now, actually, in Memphis. Uh, Jody's up there with Brad as a support team. Brad's competing right now. I actually think that they're supposed to be doing the whole pig competition as we speak. They're doing that. Jody has got some great, great uh, pictures and videos of that stuff. If you guys go on Instagram or Facebook and check out our stories, he's gonna, he has got some great stuff. Y'all really need to check it out. It's awesome. It's so awesome. All of our social media stuff, if you guys aren't on, well, obviously you are following us, but if anyone who isn't following us wants to follow us, we are Rec Tech Grills at all your social media platforms. So make sure that you guys do that. Okay. Look, so, guns Up Barbecue. What guns, does he do? How does he claim it? Guns Up Barbecue. You guys are the bomb. If you go, guys, call 706-922-0890. Ask for Connor. He will totally hook you up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And you're going to love these glasses. They are so nice. So nice. Instagram, 130. Oh, yes. So we are going to be going live with Jody at 130 on Instagram. Um, for all you Facebook people, you're going to have to switch over to go live with Jody. He's in Memphis in May. And don't, don't be like that Facebook people. Just switch over to Instagram. It's not, not that big of a deal. I know you have the app. Just switch it on over. Um, but Jody's going to be going live in a Memphis in May. He's got a whole bunch of stuff he wants to talk about. So we're super, super excited for that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and plate this chili up real quick. How do you guys feel about that? You ready yeah. to plate some chili up? Woo. Okay, cool. All right. This, 
This matador pan and the bullseye did kill her, you guys. It really did kill her. And for, to get that even cook like that, when you're doing something large like a stew or something like that, you want a nice even cook, it really, you really can't substitute this combo. All right, here we go. Let's get some of this. Oh, schnapp. Schnapp, that looks delicious, all right. Okay, so now, after the cooking of the chili, probably the topping of the chili is the second most important part of making chili, right? Like, how do you guys top your chili? Now, Donovan the, Hardy, Eastern Standard Time, 1.30. 1.30 Eastern Standard, I'm so sorry. It's always Eastern Standard when we're doing Rec Tech Live because we are on the East Coast, Augusta, Georgia. Uh, but yes, that is 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. For all of our non-Eastern Standard Time people, please, uh, 1.30 Jody will be live at Memphis in May. Um, so toppings. How do you guys like to top y'all's chili? Jalapenos, salsa, cheese, chives. What do you guys like to do? I am a red-blooded American, born in Richmond, Virginia, you know, right in the heart of where it all started. So I go traditional with my stuff. I, I do know some people, so we were talking about this at, in the, in, at work the other day. How do you take your chili? What do you do? And we had, I heard some pretty crazy stuff. Somebody told me they put chili on top of noodles. Noodles, is that a thing you guys out there? Yeah. Have y'all heard it's that? Chili Mac. Chili Mac, huh? Okay, maybe it's not an East Coast thing. I, I don't know. But for all you East Coast people, free dough lays is the way to go. Sorry about that. People, they're just trying to get the chili recipe. Okay, so <laughs> we take them, give them a good crush, right? And you could never have too many. When it comes to Frida, Someone so. Said on baked potatoes. Oh, now I'll do that. I will eat some chili on a baked potato with a little cheese and sour cream. Woo! Trey Effinger watching. Shout out to Trey. Ah, oh, Trey! Hey. We love that guy. Love that guy. One of the hardest working guys in the game, Trey. If you guys see him, if you guys see Trey, he loves hugs. Make sure you stop and give him a hug. I do love hugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the Fritos on top. We crushed them up. Go ahead and sprinkle a little cheese. Ah, oh, a little bit of sour cream right on top. And that is my red-blooded red American toppings for my chili, my venison chili. I'm going to go ahead and dig in. I'm not going to stand on principle. Oh, my gosh. I love being a chef, you guys. You know what makes it so great? Is you get to cook the stuff that you like to eat. All right, here we go. Okay. I don't even have to say anything. I'm pretty sure my face says it all. This is really, really good. Really good. Oh, man. Mmm. 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 I hope y'all Subway tastes delicious, but I put my foot in this, y'all. I did the damn thing. I did the damn thing. Woo! So good. Somebody come get a bite. Rachel, come here. I know there's not noodles in here, but tell me how good this is. Right. This is how we do it on the East Coast. I mean, you know how we do it in Detroit now. Yeah, I know. Noodles. <laughs> I'm just saying. Doesn't that make you want to slap your mama and be like, Mama! Pretty good. Why don't you make chili like this for me? Okay. <laughs> All right. It's so delicious. It's so delicious. We want to do a quick shout out real quick to the, all of our other people. Jason Keeler, Keener, he won the bullseye. Uh, shout out to you. Um, shout out to Memphis and May, all the people that are support staff. Uh, Ray, uh, Mr. Carnes, Ray's up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Big Ben is up there. Mr. Ben is up there. Uh, Jody's there. Uh, Matt's there supporting the whole shed team. We just want to thank all you guys for your hard work. If you see Mr. Ray, you know he loves hugs. Stop in, grab him, give him a hug, tell him how much you love him. He loves to hear that stuff. And Mr. Ben, he's more of a handshake guy, you know? Or kind of pinch on the butt guy. He likes that. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's our secret. But if you see any of those guys, please stop by, grab them, give them a hug. Let them know you're giving them the support. We love them. Um, we want to thank you guys always, I do, for tuning in, keeping me company on this beautiful fun day Friday. We love having you. Next Friday, we, I'm sure we're going to have something super stellar planned for you guys. Oh, we do have uh, Banjo BQ coming up. Jody wanted me to plug that and tell you guys that 
It's going to be here in Augusta. That's going on, what is that, next month? Next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. Yeah. Next weekend. Yeah. And uh, we'll be at Lady Annabellum Theater, uh, hashtag Rec Tech Park. Um, so make sure you guys are coming out to join us to do all that stuff. And thank you guys once again. Big John. We'll see you guys soon. This is Big John tuning out. Big John. In the mind, you see him arrive. He stood six foot six, weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder and there at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John. Big John. Big bad John. Big